Well hello and welcome to Southern Shooters. My name's Rusty and we're here at the Perth SSAA Shot Expo with Laura Coles. How are you Laura? Very well thank you. Excellent. Now Laura you are a skeet shooter and sponsored by Winchester hence the logo behind us and you've uh, won something. What have you won? I was lucky enough to win a Commonwealth Games gold medal in Glasgow. Congratulations, that's not lucky. That's a lot of hard work and a lot of skill, hey? Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been training for that when you're training? I started shooting 12 years ago. Yeah. But I switched seven years ago to the discipline that I shoot now, which is ISSF ski. Skeet shooting, oh, yeah. fantastic. And obviously since then you've been full board to actually get to the Glasgow Games? Yes, um, a lot of training, um, a lot of competition as well. So yeah, it has been pretty full on. Excellent. You would have travelled travelled the world shooting, I guess. Just about. It's it's been um, living the dream, really. What? Uh, so what got you into it at 15? Okay, I was given a um, shotgun by my grandfather. It was actually a an old SKB, and it was a trap gun. And I, I went out with Dad, and we had a little go at shooting trap. And I was awful. I shot three out of 25 <laughs> targets, which yeah. is, is probably the worst I've ever seen anybody do. Um, but everyone was really friendly at the club and I wanted to challenge myself and keep going with it. So that's that's how it all started. Laura, so you shoot IWSF skeet. What is that different to normal skeet shooting we see at most clubs? Okay. The difference between American skeet, which is what is shot at most clubs, and ISSF skeet is the speed. Um, ISSF targets are travelling about 68 metres. Your, your American skeet targets are travelling only about 55. So in order to make them travel that, that distance, they're doing about twice the speed. So wow. it's a lot faster. Yeah. Also, we must start in a gun down position. So the toe of the gun must actually be below the elbow level. Yeah, okay. And you're only allowed to lift the gun to the shoulder position when the target appears. The yeah. Yes. Also, in American skeet, the target will come out as soon as the button is pressed. In ISSF, it may come out up to three seconds later, so you don't know when it's going to appear. <laughs> uh, the other tricky bit is, in American skeet, you only shoot doubles on stations one, two, six, and seven. In ISSF, we shoot pairs on every station except station eight. Wow, so they really like to make it hard for you then? They do, yes. Hence the years and years of training. Absolutely, it was definitely a, a difficult transition for me to go from American skeet, which was a lot easier, and I was used to shooting high scores, and I'd been shooting for five years at that stage, so your expectations are up, and then going to ISSF skeet, where you know, I shot a six the first time I shot that, which was a hard thing to take for a, a shooter yeah. that had been going for five years. But yeah, yeah. Is there any different in the uh, shotgun setup for IWSF? Um, for ISSF, your shotgun fit becomes even more important because the gun must come straight up and fit your face straight away. In American skeet, you can put up the gun and wiggle into position and get it right. So it, it really must fit you perfectly. Also, um, the shotgun that I use now has has quite short barrels. It's it's um, a 70 centimetre gun, which is just short of 28 inches. Often people will use a 30 inch shotgun to shoot American skeet because the targets are slower. Oh, fantastic. And we've got a lot of new shooters who watch our channel. Can you give us any advice for those who are looking to get into skeet or, or clay shooting in general? I think the best advice I can give you is um, find a shotgun that fits. That's the, the best bit of advice for someone starting out. Um, other than that, train more than once a week. Shoot if, regularly. If, shoot regularly if you want to be good. Fantastic. Laura, thank you very much for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day at the show and uh, good luck for the Olympics. Thank you very much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button or leave us a comment below. Check out our other videos and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for supporting us and stay safe.